You've never had one before, but you've always dreamed of having your own pet someday. A pet tiger, that is. However, when you went to Exotic Ernie's Pet Store to buy one, and they have all kinds of exotic rare animals there, they didn't have any tigers. Apparently, it's illegal to own a tiger in your city, for some strange reason. <laughs> Crazy. The mayor probably hates pets or something. Anyway, so you decide to do something about it. You decide that you're going to find out how many people in your city support the idea of pet tigers. And if there are enough people in the city who support it, you might be able to march down to City Hall and persuade the City Council to change the laws. Yes, this will totally work. You can already feel what it's going to be like having your own pet tiger. Who you're going to name Timmy, by the way. Yep, Timmy the tiger. But anyway, first things first. So you go back down to the shopping center where Ernie's Exotic Pet Store is and you stand in front of it with your paper and clipboard and begin to ask every person you run into there whether they are in favor of the city having pet tigers. And sure enough, the first five people who come out of the pet store are in favor. This is promising. It looks like everyone is going to be in favor. And indeed, you mean everyone. You plan to talk to every single person in the city. However, the sixth person you run into throws a little wrench in your plans. You see, they are a mathematician, and your conversation with them changes everything. After you mention what you're doing, the mathematician is kind enough to point out a few things you hadn't thought of so far. First, they point out the problem with wanting to survey everyone, which is called a population in mathematics apparently, is that not everyone in the city actually goes to the mall. So if you stay at the mall, you won't run into everyone. Oh, that is true, you admit. But she wasn't done. If you still went door to door, she says, to try and reach everyone, and even manage to get to a hundred doors every evening when most people are at home and do this every single day, it could still take you years to talk to everyone. And by that time, you may have changed your mind, and you may want a pet gorilla instead. Hmm, that was another good point. You do like gorillas. What you really want to do, the mathematician says, is to take what's called a sample. A sample, you ask? The mathematician explains. Suppose you can talk to 200 people, which is no small number, and 70% of them are in favor of pet tigers. Then, statistically speaking, you could conclude that approximately 70% of the entire population are in favor of pet tigers. Oh, yeah, that makes sense. Thank you so much, you say, and you look to talk to the next person coming out of the pet store. But the mathematician wasn't done. You can't actually do the sample here, they say. Why not, you ask? Hmm, so what do you think? Why does the mathematician say that you can't do the survey there? While you're thinking about that, the mathematician decides they need to take you through a bit more material on the subject. 